Good morning, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. We are down here in Valley Stream again, Hendrickson Lake, right here, chilling with my duck friends over here. And uh, it is cold this morning, 31 degrees. I think this is the coldest morning yet of the 365-day uh, journey. Um, we are day 177, lucky sevens, Thanksgiving Eve. And um, yeah, this is the first first below freezing morning and I'm a little numb but uh not too bad we bundle up and we uh we just take it in um but uh let me get on with the message of the day because it is cold out here and um without a glove on my hands going numb um message of the day so yesterday um I was uh I gotta say honored and blessed uh to be invited to the retirement ceremony of my buddy John Batanti who is a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Marine Corps. Um, John is a badass dude, but a big teddy bear. Um, he'll give you a hug while he uh, takes you out. <laughs> um, I met John two and a half years ago uh, when he moved to uh, my town and needed to rent a house for his family. We found him a house to rent, and we instantly hit it off. Um, good dude. We saw my post. My grandfather, uh, who was my best man in my wedding, um, passed uh, early 70s and he's a marine he was a hardcore marine um, flew the flag every day out front of the house <clears throat> his flag still flies at the Broadway Tavern um, family uh, bar in town in Malvern and uh, so I got a special place in my heart for the Marines because it's kind of it was grandpa's thing uh, besides the Marines are badass and you know they keep us safe so and all the armed services but just happened to uh have an alignment with the marines because of grandpa so when john came along it was kind of i don't know kind of cool for me to experience all the marine uh lifestyle he invited me to his installment <coughs> ceremony when he first got installed he was uh running the uh, base over in garden city and then uh he just uh, decided to retire, so I was invited to his transfer of command ceremony um, a couple months ago, and then uh, now his retirement. And I got to tell you, the Marines are a class act. They get stuff done. They do it just in a really, really cool way. Um, really great people. Just really cool to be around it and be uh, on the inner circle like that. Kind of, kind of fun stuff. Um, but what that brought me to uh, think about is uh, as John was talking about his stories. Um, of uh, battle, um, you know, been overseas obviously a lot. Um, he was on Fox News uh, when he highlighted uh, some military people. Um, cool stuff, cool stuff. Um, I also look at the camaraderie that was built amongst um, the guys, uh, and it seems like John was a great leader. Lots of respect from uh, from his crew. Um, seems like. Uh, you know, he really got stuff done and and, uh, and just was a great leader. And now he's going to go on to lead something else in his life in part two of his career. i got to switch hands here. I'm going numb. Um, oh, man, my hands are freezing. So uh, well, what it brought me to think about, and it's funny how stuff aligns. This morning I turned on Mike Claudio's podcast with Brandon on Bringham. And um, let's go, Brandon. And uh, Brandon uh, was talking about, um, and he talked about this at Apex Live, that we are programmed for fight or flight. Um, and back in the day, uh, we had to fight. There was really no flight. Um, if you wanted to eat, you had to, um, you know, you had to kill what you eat. And if you didn't kill, you didn't eat. And uh, not that I'm saying go kill people, but uh, what I'm saying is uh, it's really easy for us these days uh, to just run away from stuff rather than facing our challenges. Um, I find it myself sometimes when stuff gets hard, uh, you pick the easy route. You don't pick the hard route and you don't do what you need to do um, because it's, it's, you know, your meal is not relying on it. Um, in the real estate world, uh, I coach that, um, you know, look at it like it's your next meal. Um, in a, in a commission based real estate world, um, we eat what we kill. So if we don't sell a home, we don't get to eat. Um, if we don't, you know, list a home and we don't rent that apartment, whatever, we don't get paid. So there is no uh, sit back and hang out, let the paycheck come in. There's no, um, nothing like that. So we are only as good as our next sale. 
and so each sale has to be the best sale it can be each sale has to generate the referral by doing the right thing um and we got to think about this more um and we got to turn in and fight and not uh flight um brandon talked about this up on stage um we got to learn to fight more we got to learn to fight for what we want we got to learn to uh put in the effort um and not just flight um seems like a lot of times when things get hard in our lives we just flight we just run away from it um so we got to turn in and we got to fight we got to stand up for what we believe in and that's what the marines do there's no there's no flight option for the marines they go and fight um they get stuff done um really kind of a cool alignment uh being what i saw yesterday and listened to this podcast uh it's kind of neat how that stuff uh, aligns in my life in particular um when something's in my head um everything just seems to gravitate to the same direction um i guess it's uh you find what you focus on right so uh this was in my head about um how wild it is to uh be fighting for your life fighting for your country and um making an ultimate making the ultimate sacrifice being away from your family uh being away from your kids uh moving your family around uh every two years or so to go to your next assignment to uh keep fighting for what's right keep fighting for what you believe in uh and not flighting there's no flight in the marines um so take that example uh from john and and what brandon was talking about um as you face challenges in your life um turn into it turn into it conquer it don't uh, don't walk away from it don't turn away from it don't put your tail between your legs um stand up for what you believe in fight for what you need fight for what you deserve and um you'll keep winning john's a winner uh congratulations john uh awesome ceremony proud to be a friend <clears throat> um proud to be your neighbor lives around the block from me we sold him a house uh a couple months ago, right around the block, I can see his house from the back of my house. Pretty cool. Great to have a neighbor like that. Um, so anyway, there's your message of the day. Fight or flight. We need to learn to fight a little bit more. We got to stop running away from our problems and we got to turn into them and fight. Um, so there's your message of the day. Let's jump on prayers over here. Sun is just peeking up behind the clouds, behind that house right there. I don't know if you can see it coming through. Um... Uh, Thanksgiving Eve, we got a lot to be thankful for. Wake up every morning and say thank you. Uh, all right, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to be um, strong. Help us to fight for what we believe in. Help us to fight for what is right. Help us to stand up for good versus evil. Um, spirit of thanksgiving, help us to be thankful. Uh, I talk about all the time, thankful two-part word. Help us to give thanks and help us to keep giving um help us to have a great thanksgiving with our families um and help us to just uh be good humans amen so we'll, we're gonna spread some love we got the spread love hat on today that's what we do we spread love uh it's our mission to give thanks we're thankful and we give giving um but message of the day uh in our fight or flight response we're gonna go back to our roots um, you know, wired from the beginning as cavemen, uh, you had to go, you know, eat what you kill. You got to go out there and you got to fight. There's no running away back in the day. You had to, uh, stand up for yourself. So just like that in today's world, uh, we need to stand up for ourselves. So think about that next time something gets hard, next time something gets difficult and you want to turn away and you want to run away and you want to walk away. Um, it's time to turn in. It's time to lean in. It's time to put in the work. It's time to fight. For what you need it's time to fight for what you believe in it's type it's time to stand up for what is right versus what is wrong um so there's your message um thanksgiving eve amateur night if you're uh young and still trying to do that be safe um thanksgiving tomorrow 
Um, take the time to be thankful. Take the time to enjoy <clears throat> your family. And take the time to think about your life and uh, what you're grateful for and where, where you can do better. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Appreciate you all. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you make the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Start inspiring people to make this world a better place. Love you all.